All right, so this is Blumhouse doing their Blumhouse thing, which is take a story that wasn't horror, but might lend itself to horror, and then make a horror-ish version of that story. I mean, good on them, all things considered. That's not a bad market to corner. It's a pretty good idea. Freaky. So Freaky is directed by Christopher Landon, who's the director of Happy Death Day. And the premise is, well, it's Freaky Friday, and the movie's coming out on Friday the 13th. And by Friday the 13th, I guess I mean Thursday the 12th? Point is, the premise is kind of like Freaky Friday, but with a serial killer and a high school student. Vince Vaughn's this big serial killer, Jason Voorhees-ish dude, and then he swaps places with this girl who's a high school student. So now Vince Vaughn's serial killer guy's mind is in the high school girl's body, and vice versa, her mind is in his body. So the mind of the girl in the big Vince Vaughn serial killer body needs to convince her friends that she's actually her inside this big serial killer body and they need to reverse this. And really, when this movie started, I was hooked. This movie has an amazing hook. It's just these four high school students in this house and then Vince Vaughn, Jason Voorhees style, starts dispatching them. But the kills were really well executed. But then after that, the tone of the movie changes. It's no longer that. It's no longer serial killer, bloody fashion, horror movie, Freaky Friday style. Really, it's a dark comedy adventure. They're going around this town trying to figure out how to reverse this all the while trying to avoid the cops. One of the cops being a family member, you know, so it gets a little complicated. And at that point, I felt like the movie dragged on a little bit. Not that the movie doesn't have enjoyment, I thought Vince Vaughn was good. I mean, he's not Jack Black from Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle good. I will try not to compare everyone who's in a movie with this premise with Jack Black from Welcome to the Jungle, but I personally thought he was great in that movie. But you know, Vince Vaughn was good. Another thing I really liked were the supporting, the friends. I was gonna call them the supporting friends. They're very supportive friends. But I thought they were really good. It could have just been the Vince Vaughn show the entire time, but I thought the friends and Vince Vaughn, I thought they all had chemistry together and the friends stood out. But it doesn't change the fact that I thought at a point the movie lost a little bit of momentum. You know, like, not that the movie's bad, the movie's fine. But that's what I have to say about the movie, you know? It's fine. You know how that phrase is. I'm not saying like, that's a fine film. But you have to do the wave with the word, it's fine. That's where I am with this one. It's kind of a take it or leave it thing. I, th I thought the movie was, it was fine. There's a part of me that I know is a personal bias because the intro was so, I was so hooked by it, but the movie never delivered more of that. I got what they were doing. They were doing that Cabin in the Woods thing where it's kind of commentary on horror movies. Doesn't change the fact, and this is the fact of the matter, I was never as entertained with the rest of the movie as I was with the intro of the movie. I was more interested with the serial killer in her body changing up her entire vibe in high school. Like her entire persona. She's flipping the script hawk style, or he is flipping the script talk style. You get what I mean? I wanted to see more of that. This serial killer could have really done some damage, but it's only a day, you know? It's one movie. It's not a very long movie, but the movie feels longer than it is, which is the reason I say it felt like it was dragging a bit. This premise actually lends itself to being an hour long episode of a series. Like it's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode. I don't know if Buffy the Vampire Slayer has or has not done it because I don't know all the episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But if they haven't done this, consider me surprised if not shocked. It seems like something that must have happened in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I mean, I could see this movie being one of those movies that picks up steam and becomes some weird cult classic, but it's not that to me. Not yet, I don't think it will be. I like Vince Vaughn, I like the friends, I like the chemistry among all of them. But a serial killer being in a high school student's body, like, it just lends itself to more interesting premises, some of which they did do, a lot of which they didn't. Which is a weird way of saying I wanted to see more of the serial killer doing stuff. I don't know what that says. <laughs> I don't know what it means, oh no. But like I said, What's the word? That's right. The movie's fine. It'd probably be better if I were drunk. Yeah, now it's a party. I get you have to call it freaky because you can't call it Freaky Friday and you can't call it Friday. You can't call it Friday the 13th, but can you call it Freaky Friday the 13th? All right, so Freaky, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Is this the movie? <laughs> it's, it's not on streaming services, I guess. This is the movie that's like, all right, if you haven't gone out to the movie theaters yet, this is the one. Is this the movie that's gonna get you out there? You gonna, you know, wait. Wait for 2021. So the movies that were supposed to come out in 2020 that were postponed to 2021 can then be postponed to 2022. But whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.